this is September 16th from Letty Cowman's book, Streams in the Desert. Hide thyself by the brook Cherith, 1 Kings 17, 3. God's servants must be taught the value of the hidden life. The man who is to take a high place before his fellows must take a low place before his God. We must not be surprised if sometimes our father says, there child, thou hast had enough of this hurry and publicity and excitement. Get thee hence and hide thyself by the brook. Hide thyself in the cherith of the sick chamber or in the cherith of bereavement or in some solitude from which the crowds have ebbed away. Happy is he who can reply, this thy will is also mine. I flee unto thee to hide me. Hide me in the secret of thy tabernacle and beneath the cover of thy wings. Every saintly soul that would wield great power with men must win it in some hidden cherith. The acquisition of spiritual power is impossible unless we can hide ourselves from men and from ourselves in some deep gorge where we may absorb the power of the eternal God as vegetation through long ages absorbed these qualities of sunshine, which it now gives back through burning coal. Bishop Andrews had his cherith in which he spent five hours every day in prayer and devotion. John Welsh had it, who thought the day ill spent, which did not witness eight or 10 hours of closet communion. David Brainerd had it in the woods of North America. Christmas Evans had it in his long and lonely journeys amid the hills of Wales. Or, passing back to the blessed age from which we date the centuries, Patmos, the seclusion of the Roman prisons, the Arabian desert, the hills and vales of Palestine, are forever memorable as the cherith's of those who have made our modern world. Our Lord found his cherith at Nazareth and in the wilderness of Judea, amid the olives of Bethany and the solitude of Gadara. None of us, therefore, can dispense with some cherith where the sounds of human voices are exchanged for the waters of quietness which are fed from the throne and where we may taste the sweets and imbibe the power of a life hidden with Christ. That's attributed to Elijah by Meyer. This is a challenging one today that the strength and power of God is given to us in the quiet places when we're abiding with Christ, not in the lofty places where everything looks good or it seems like we've really had some great victory, but really more in the moments when we are quietly being fed by God. Um, have a good day.